students from McLean. Langley. And Georgetown Day meet today on It's Academic. Hello, everybody. I'm Hillary Howard. Welcome to It's Academic. We're in another playoff round during our 61st season, thanks to title sponsor David M. Rubenstein, encouraging you to read, learn, get involved, and make a difference. And thanks to platinum sponsor MITRE. MITRE is a bridge and convener of government, industry, and academia, bringing together the whole of nation to tackle some of the biggest challenges of the 21st century. Now it is time to meet McLean High School from where else? McLean, Virginia. Noah's the captain of this team and he's gonna introduce us to everyone. Hi, Noah. Hello, Hillary. Really excited to compete today. I am, I'm Noah and I'm a junior and with me are my teammates, Ethan and Sam. Hey guys, good to see you all again. So Noah, tell us what you've been up to. Well, in my spare time, I've been getting better at the electric guitar and reading Supreme Court cases. Ah, oh, future attorney? Maybe. Maybe. Future musician? Pr probably not. <laughs> probably not, but it's good for fun. All right, Sam, what's going on with you? Um, outside of its academic, I participate in debate at my school, and I just finished reading Silent Spring, because I just ah. like to read in my spare time. Yeah, and we actually have that as a question a lot on this show, so yeah. <laughs> that was good. I guess good it choice. is it's academic related, I guess. <laughs> probably. Hey, Ethan, good to see you. Hi, good to see you, Hillary. Thanks. Tell us what you've been up to. Uh, I guess I have continued to study math right now. Uh, I'm taking a class where we're learning about Fourier series. Uh, it's been very interesting, and I also enjoy playing piano. All right. Well, it's great to have you here, Ethan and Sam and Noah. And now let's do this. Here's the opening round. Questions, as you know, are worth 20 points, nothing off for a wrong answer. Here's your first question. Choose one word from each column to get what line of zero longitude that runs through Greenwich, England. Inferring prime meridian? Yeah. Yeah. Prime meridian, final answer. Yes, it is. A labyrinth, Native American corn. These are definitions for what two words that sound alike but have different spellings. Uh, conferring maze? Conferring maze. Yeah. Yeah. Maze. maze, final answer. Maze is right. Add the right consonants to these vowels, and you can name what group of Pacific islands owned by Ecuador that Charles Darwin visited in 1835. Inferring Galapagos. Inferring Galapagos. Yeah. Galapagos, final answer. Yep, it is. Bubble, strength, deed. Which of these words is an example of a palindrome? Uh, Conferring deed. 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 Yeah. deed, final answer. Yeah. Men are apt to be much more influenced by words than by actual facts. These were the words of what Russian scientist who used salivating dogs in his study of conditioned reflexes? Inferring Pavlov? Yeah. Yeah, Pavlov. Pavlov is correct, and that means you have 200 points, McLean. Let's meet team two, also from McLean, Virginia's Langley High School. William is the captain. Hey, William, introduce us to everyone. Hi, my name is William Moore. I'm a senior at Langley, and today joining me is Kai Nielsen and Ashman Tula. Hello, everybody. Well, William, let's start with you. What should we know about you? Um, I guess in my free, um, like on top of its academic, I'm also a member of my school's quiz bowl team. Oh, very good. You're a smart guy. <laughs> All right, Kai, what have you been up to? Apart from its academic, I'm also in quiz bowl, and I uh, play trombone in the band. What kind of stuff do you like to play with uh, on your trombone? Uh, just anything that's loud. Anything that's <laughs> modern. All right. Hey, Ashmit, good to see you. Uh, hi, I'm Ashmit. Uh, apart from quiz ball, I'm on the quiz ball team, and I also do uh, physics. Physics. Oh, that's wonderful. I remember that from last time. Let's jump in and do this round, huh? The opening round. Here's your first question. Langley? Choose one word from each column and you'll name what constellation that appears on the flags of Australia and New Zealand. Conferring. Um, I, I would say Southern Cross. I agree. Okay. Final answer is Southern Cross. It's a good answer. Southern Cross it is. A worshipped statue, inactive, lazy. 
Here you see definitions for what two words that are spelled differently but pronounced alike. Conferring, um, like, um, Need an answer. Um, idle? Yeah, it's idle. There you go. Nice. This is a man in the middle of the name of what Eastern European country where Bucharest is capital? That is Romania. Okay, uh, final answer, Romania. Yep, it is. Trident, Aegis, Caduceus. Which one of these symbols is usually associated with the mythical Neptune or Poseidon? Conferring, so trident. Trident, yep. yeah. All right, final answer, trident. Yes. I could either watch it happen or be a part of it. This was the comment of what man who made himself a part of the modern technological world as the founder and CEO of SpaceX and Tesla? All right, uh, conferring, so Elon Musk. Yep. Yes. Okay, final answer, Elon Musk. Elon Musk is right, and Langley, you've got 200 points. Let's meet team three from Georgetown Day School in Washington, D.C., where Julius is the captain. Hey, Julius, introduce us to everyone. Hi, I'm Julius. I am a senior at GDS. And here with me are my teammates, uh, Pierce, who is also a senior, and Hank, who is a senior as well. Hi, Pierce. Hi, Hank. And Julius, let's start with you. Tell us what you've been up to since the last time we saw you in the opening game, first round. Last time you've seen me. Well, a lot of stuff. I've been, uh, I've been doing some writing. I uh, got a chance to get a little reading done as well over winter break, traveling as well. So a uh, good variety of things. Nice. Where'd you travel to? Uh, I was out in Colorado for a little while visiting some family and such. Very nice. I'd like to do a little traveling eventually. Hello, Hank. What have you been up to? Um, hi. Uh, I think I've been, like the rest of my teammates, taking some well-deserved rest in the second semester of senior year. But um, mm -hmm. yeah, keeping up with Quiz Bowl, keeping up with this academic and preparing for this. Very excited. Cool. We're excited to do this. And finally, Pierce. Hi. Yes, thank you. Um, lately, I've been leading uh, GDS's teams in Malta UN. Euro Challenge and Quiz Bowl. And it's been a lot of work, but overall, we're all having a great time and we're prepared to have a great time here as well. And you don't have any trouble juggling all of that stuff? No. That's awesome. I want to be like you. <laughs> it's a skill I need to acquire still. All right, guys, let's do this opening round. Here we go. First question, Georgetown Day. Take one word from each column and you'll name what space project that reached the moon in 1969. Conferring Apollo 11. Apollo yes. 11. Yeah, final Apollo 11. Yes. The atmosphere, one who inherits. Here you have clues to what two words that are spelled differently but pronounced alike. Mm. The air, it's air. Like air. Oh, yeah, air. I -R and, yeah. Yeah. Okay, final air. Yes, it is air. There are four vowels missing here from the name of what Southeast Asian country whose capital is Phnom Penh? Cambodia. Cambodia. So the answer is going to be A-O-I-A -A for Cambodia. Yes, final yes. Cambodia. Well done. Audiology, zoology, topography. If you were interested in the physical features of the local countryside, you would be studying which of these? Conferring it's topography. topography. It's topography. So, Julius, direct that. Final topography. It is topography. Biology has at least 50 more interesting years. This was the opinion of what Nobel Prize winning scientists who, with Francis Crick, discovered the double helix structure of DNA. Confirming Watson. Watson. Yeah, final Watson. It is Watson, Georgetown Day, nicely done. You've got 200 points. Hey guys, Picture Perfect Round is next. I'm David Rubenstein. From the Kennedy Center and the National Archives to the Lincoln Memorial and the Washington Monument, I've been pleased to support many important organizations and historic sites linked to American history, art, culture, education, and more. I believe giving back to our country isn't just an idea, it's an action, a patriotic action that involves all of us. And it begins with education and learning about our nation's past so that we, the people, can make a more perfect union for the future. We can do it together. 
Please read, learn, get involved, and make a difference. It's time for the Picture Perfect round, where questions are worth 20 points up or down. 10 points off if you don't answer. McLean, you're up first. Here we go. Llamas in Peru make themselves at home among the ruins of Machu Picchu, the mysterious city of what Indian civilization? Confirm Inca. Inca, yeah. Yeah, Inca, final answer. Final answer is Inca, correct. Acetylene, toluene, benzene. The formula C6H6 refers to which of these? Ethan, it's benzene, right? Yeah, benzene. Yeah, benzene, final answer. Yes. This figure was created by tribesmen of what African country where Abidjan is the largest city and Yamasukra the official capital? Confirm Cote d'Ivoire. Uh, I think so. Yeah, Cote d'Ivoire, final answer. That is right, and you have 260 points, McLean. Langley, we have some pictures for you because it's the picture perfect round. Uh, let's do this. Here's your first question. This painting is by Thomas Cole, an artist associated with a school of painting linked to what New York River named for an English explorer? Conferring uh, Hudson River. Hudson. Yeah, finally, sir, Hudson. Yeah. Pound, erg, dine. Which of these is the basic unit of force in the CGS system? Conferring, um, Ashwin, do you know this? Give me pound. Wait, which one? Pound. Uh, final answer, or defer to Ashmit. A pound? No, it's not pound, it's dine. The bamboo forest can be seen near Kyoto on what largest and most populous Japanese island? Conferring, um, Honshu. Honshu, yeah. Honshu. Han Shu is right. Well done, Langley. You've got 220 points. All right, time for the picture perfect round. Georgetown Day, here's the first picture. Behind this fencing is what's left of an ancient column commemorating the victory of the Greeks over what empire whose kings included Xerxes and Darius? Conferring Persia. Persians. Yeah, final Persia. Yes. This is the formula for what alkaline compound used as an antacid? Confirm. You guys know? Um, Take a guess. Is it a magnesium? Magnesium um, something. Do we know oxide. OH2? Magnesium hydroxide. Yeah, I think yeah. it's magnesium hydroxide direct. That. Deferred to Pierce. Magnesium it, hydroxide direct. You're right. You got it. Magnesium hydroxide. Lakes like this dot what northernmost Indian state linked to Jammu and the focus of a long-term dispute with Pakistan? Kashmir. 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 Yeah, final Kashmir. Kashmir is right. You did it again, Georgetown Day. Got them all. 260 points. Don't go away. We've got the halftime report coming at you in just a minute. Hello, I'm David Rubenstein. Did you know that the official color of today's universe is Cosmic Latte? Runner-up names included Big Bang Buff and Cappuccino Cosmico. It's believed the universe was somewhat bluer 13 billion years ago when stars were younger. The two astronomers who set up the contest are from Johns Hopkins University. And in choosing the name Cosmic Latte, they admitted they were caffeine biased. I'm David Rubenstein, reminding you to read Learn, get involved, and make a difference. Two rounds behind us, two rounds in front of us. We've reached halftime. Noah, introduce us to the folks who are with you. With us today is our principal, Dr. Riley, and our coaches, Mr. Brockhetti and Ms. Benedict. So good to see you, uh, Principal Riley. Wonderful to have you back. Mm -hmm. And Ms. Benedict, great to see you. Mr. Brockhetti, tell us about your team. Uh, they're just a remarkable group of kids. Um, uh, not only the three that you see here, but also uh, um, everybody that we have on the team. They, um, they make our lives easy by putting in all the hard work and the result is what you see in front of you. It's great. Do you have any advice for them as we head into the second half? Uh, get more right than you do wrong. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So good to see all of you. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks. Well, now that we've met the folks who help you, let's jump into this packet round, huh, McLean? Here we go. In this round, as you know, questions are worth 20 points, nothing off for a wrong answer, but 
there is a very nice 25 point bonus if you get all the answers right. First question. The first large scale electric power grid in the country was driven by 10 generators placed near what waterfalls on the New York Canadian border? Inferring Niagara Falls. Yeah. yeah, I think so. Niagara Falls, final answer. Yes. The hognose snake sometimes takes on a hooded appearance, similar to what poisonous snake whose king variety is native to India? Conferring cobra? Uh, yeah, yeah. Cobra, like final cobra. answer. Yes, it is. Here's your science question. Carry nitrogen to arteries, produce antibodies, aid in blood clotting. Which of these three choices best describes the function of blood cells known as platelets or thrombocytes? Uh, conferring, conferring aid in blood clotting? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Aid in blood clotting, final answer. Yeah, you got that too. On Flag Day in 1952, President Truman dedicated what first nuclear-powered submarine? I don't know this. Is it... Uh, we, we got a guess I have on. a bad guess. Yeah, um, we'll go for conferring it. Conferring like Triton? Try it, try it. Triton, final answer. Nah, the answer is Nautilus. Several years ago, 31 actors spent 21 hours reading an uncut version of Goethe's play about what man who sold his soul to the devil. Inferring Faust? Yeah. Faust, final answer. Yep, you've got that one. Here's your math question. Evaluate this expression, giving your answer as a positive integer. Inferring 16. Inferring 16, yeah. 16, final answer. Yes. One of Congress's greatest orators was what 19th century Massachusetts senator who proclaimed liberty and union now and forever, one and inseparable. Um, conferring Webster? I think so. It, I don't have yeah, another guess. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, Daniel Webster, final answer. Yeah, it was Daniel Webster. Really nice job, McLean. You've got 380 points. You know, we're always happy that the teams show up on It's Academic, but we're especially happy when their support team shows up. William, tell us who's with you. So today we have our coach, Mr. Work, and our principal, Mrs. Greer. Mrs. Greer, really nice to see you. And Mr. O'Rourke, what advice do you have your team going into the second half? Hey, look, guys, just keep it up. You're doing a great job so far, making us proud. Keep it up, guys. You like these guys? Yeah, they're all right. You know. <laughs> <laughs> we do too. All right. Thank you, Coach O'Rourke and Principal Greer. And uh, guys, you should feel good because like, they really like you. <laughs> that should get you going for this packet round. So let's dive in. Here's your first question. In 1776, the first public reading of the Declaration of Independence was accompanied by the ringing of what historic bell in Pennsylvania? Inferring God. Um... Liberty Bell, right? Liberty Bell. All right, final answer, Liberty Bell. The Liberty Bell rang in Philadelphia, yes. Singing dogs known for their distinct howling and once thought to be extinct still exist on what large Pacific island where Papua is located? Conferring. New Guinea. Yeah, New Guinea. All right, final answer, New Guinea. Yes, it is. Science question. Inner ear, midbrain, cerebrum. The semicircular canals which allow us to maintain our balance are found in which of these locations? Conferring. Um, I think this is either midbrain or cerebrum. I think it's midbrain, but I'm not completely sure. Okay, I'm going to go with that. All right, final answer, midbrain. No, it's inner ear. Here's your next question. Though he died in 1658, the body of what Puritan who had served as Lord Protector of England was dug up and posthumously executed in 1661? Conferring Cromwell. Uh, sure that. Yeah. Okay. Final answer, Cromwell. Cromwell is right. They didn't like him very much. Mm. Toe of frog and tongue of dog are two of the ingredients that three witches boil in their cauldron in what Shakespeare play set in Scotland? All right, conferring Macbeth. Macbeth. Right, final answer, Macbeth. Yes. Here's your math question. Solve for X. Conferring three. Yes. All right, final answer, three. Yes. The French Revolution's reign of terror is said to have ended in 1794 with the execution of what man nicknamed the incorruptible? Conferring, is this Robes Robespierre? Oh. Um, I think we'll just go with that. All right, final answer, Robespierre. 
Yeah, that's a good answer. It was Robespierre. Langley, nice job, 340 points. Time to meet the team behind the team at Georgetown Day. Julius, tell us who's with you. Well, today with us, we have our coaches, uh, Sue Eikenberry and Abe Pachikara. And we also have our alternates, Ben Hellman and Isaac Seiken. Well, hello, Ben. Hello, Isaac. Great to see you, Mr. Pachikra. And Ms. Eikenberry, how many years have you been a coach for this team? Um, quite a while. I think about 35. That's a long time. So you've seen a lot of teams come. You've seen a lot of teams go. What do you have to say about this one? Well, this is a really uh, three very bright students. Uh, they well know that in its academic, anything can happen. Um, and um, I also wanted to take a moment to salute um, David Rubenstein uh, for being the sponsor uh, of this show. I mean, this, I've been around for a long time. In fact, I went to high school here, so I remember the game in its inception. And he, he understood its local importance to history and culture, and we appreciate that a lot. Absolutely. It's so good to see you, Ms. Eikenberry. And we also want to thank David Rubenstein, obviously, and also MITRE, both of whom are fabulous sponsors. And now let's jump into this packet round. Here we go, Georgetown Day. From 1842 until 1845, the British government maintained diplomatic relations with what short-lived North American Republic led by Sam Houston? Conferring Republic of Texas. Yeah, Texas. Yeah, final Texas. Yes. To dispose of old Christmas trees, one Nevada city once brought in a herd of what animals represented in the Zodiac by Capricorn? Um, conferring, I think, goats? I think um, so. Yeah, goats or goats. rams? Goats. goats. Yeah, 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 final goats. Goats is right. Here's your science question. Upper atmosphere, igneous rock, on roots of some plants. You would most likely find nitrogen-fixing bacteria in which of these places? Probably probably the roots of plants. If it's bacteria, I don't think it's on rock or in the upper atmosphere. Yeah, I'll go plants. with that. On okay. the roots of some plants. On roots of some plants. Defer to Hank. On the roots of some plants. Good deduction. You're correct. Some historians believe Lincoln's Gettysburg Address was influenced by a funeral oration given by what ancient statesman who led Athens during its golden age? Um, conferring, guys, I think it's probably Pericles, most likely. Pericles. Sure, I think, I, I think that sounds right. Yeah, go with that. Defer to Pierce. Pericles, direct. Pericles is correct. The creation of the world and other business is the title of a comic play by what author of the more serious Death of a Salesman? Conferring, oh, I believe, Miller. Arthur Miller. It's Miller. Yeah, Miller. Yeah, final Arthur Miller. You got that one too. Here's your math question. Simplify this expression when x equals 5, giving your answer as a positive integer. Just 3. No, it's 4. Wait, I think wait, it's 4, isn't it? Wait, x equals 5, 5 yeah. 16. 15. Oh my god, yeah. 4. four. Yeah, okay, fine. Four. Four is right. Though he's known for crusading against slavery, what white abolitionist also campaigned against drinking and smoking in his newspaper, The Liberator? Oh, um, this is... The Liberator, guys. Oh, it's um, you know it's on the tip of my tongue. If we have to guess, we should guess. Is it John Brown? No, it's, it's not John Brown, but you can guess it. I, I don't think, maybe it is. I don't know. Yeah, defer to Pierce. All right, John Brown, direct. No, it's William Lloyd Garrison, but you guys did a fabulous job. 380 points, Georgetown Day. Are you ready to be electrified? Well, well, we hope so, because we've got the lightning round next. I'm David Rubenstein, and I believe giving back is something we all can do. Students are getting involved in their communities in many important ways. I've asked them to share with us how they're making a difference. Hello, my name is Lawrence Lee. I'm currently a junior at Landon School, and for the past four years, I've been heavily involved with fundraising for the Children's Inn. For the first two years, I played my violin at farmer's markets, and for the last two years, I've been leading a fundraising team for the NIH Children's Inn. The Inn, the mission of the Inn is to provide a place like home for children and families who are receiving life-saving treatment at the NIH. It is a very stressful time in their lives, and the Children's Inn helps provide education and relieve this stressful time in their lives. And I truly believe in the mission of the Inn. 
Like these students, you too can help improve the lives of so many people by volunteering in your town and community. Please read, learn, get involved, and make a difference. We are ready for a little bit of lightning. Yes, it's the lightning round. McLean, of course, you're up first. And in this round, you have 45 seconds to answer as many as 10 questions. They're worth 20 points up or down. Nothing off if you pass. Here we go, McLean. All your answers will be people who were born in April. In three, two, one. This Civil War general became our 18th president. Grant. Yes, Grant. she wrote To Kill a Mockingbird. Harper Lee. Lee. Yes, this English philosopher wrote Leviathan. Thomas Hobbes. Hobbes. Yes, he's our current Secretary of State. Blinken. Blinken. Yes, this educator founded the Tuskegee Institute in Alabama. Washington. 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 Yes, this Israeli actress played Wonder Woman. Gal Gadot. Gal Gadot. Yes, this French author wrote Jacques in defense of Zola. Alfred Zola. Yes, he was the first head of the Soviet Union. Lenin. Lenin. Yes, she wrote I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings. Angelou. Maya Angelou. Yes, he was the third U.S. president. Jefferson. Jefferson. Yes, it is Jefferson. You guys, on fire. Eight seconds to spare, by the way. That might be a record. I'm not sure, but it's got to be really close. 580 points, McLean. You, you should feel really good about that. Time for a little lightning. It's lightning round time, Langley. Here we go. All your answers here must be people who were born in November. In three, two, one. She and her husband discovered radium. Harry. Yes, this German started the Protestant Reformation. Luther. Luther. Yes, he's the current Secretary of Homeland Security. And you, do you guys know? All right, pass. pass. Majorcus, he wrote Dracula. Stoker. Stoker. Yes, this Democrat's the current U.S. Senate Majority Leader. Schumer? Yes, he was the 11th U.S. president. Um, Polk? Yes, this American musician was known as the March King. Susan? Yes, he's the current U.S. Chief Justice. Roberts? Yes, this French sculptor created The Thinker and the Kiss. Rodin? Yes, he wrote Huckleberry Finn. Twain? Yes, it's Mark Twain! And you guys got that answer with two seconds to spare. Awesome job in this lightning round. You have a total of 520 points, Langley. And finally, team three is up for the lightning round. Georgetown Day, here we go. All of your answers will involve people who were born in August. In three, two, one. He was the first man to walk on the moon. Neil Armstrong? Yes, he wrote the Star Spangled Banner. Um, Francis Scott. Yes, this current Supreme Court justice has announced he's retiring. Briar. Yes, also retiring is this Tampa Bay quarterback. Brady. Yes, he wrote Moby Dick. Melville. Yes, she's the current Treasury Secretary. Yellen. Yes, he and his brother Wilbur developed the first U.S. airplane. Right. Oh, right. Yes, he wrote Fahrenheit 451. Bradbury. Yes, Bradbury. he and Robert Peary were first to reach the North Pole. Um, um, I think it's Ed Edmondson. Yeah, go with that. No, it's Henson. He was the 44th U.S. president. Obama? Yes, it was Barack Obama. Georgetown Day, you blazed your way through that lightning round with 540 points. Wow, this was a great game. It was so competitive with fabulous teams. We have the official scores next. I'm David Rubenstein. From the Kennedy Center and the National Archives to the Lincoln Memorial and the Washington Monument, I've been pleased to support many important organizations and historic sites linked to American history, art, culture, education, and more. I believe giving back to our country isn't just an idea, it's an action, a patriotic action that involves all of us. And it begins with education and learning about our nation's past so that we, the people, can make a more perfect union for the future. We can do it together. Please read, Learn, get involved, and make a difference. And the scores are now official. We begin with Langley High School from McLean, Virginia. William Kai Ashmit, 520 points. From Washington, D.C., Georgetown Day School, Julius Pierce and Hank, 540 points. And coming back for a semifinal match, McLean High School from McLean, Virginia, Noah, Sam, and Ethan, 580 points. 
Great job, all of you. Hey, please remember to follow us on social media where we would love it if you liked, loved, subscribed, and shared our stuff. It's really good if you do. Uh, please make sure you join us next week when we have Richard Montgomery, Gonzaga, and Washington Liberty. Liberty. I'm Hillary Howard. So glad you were with us this Saturday morning. See you next time. Bye, everybody. I'm David Rubenstein reminding you to read, learn, get involved, and make a difference.